Hey guys, Cajun Reseller here, coming back at you with another uh, What Sold slash Sourcing video. Uh, over this weekend, which would be September you know, 5th, 6th, 7th, uh, I went to Mississippi to source. Uh, they were opening up a new Goodwill uh, around the Gulfport area of Mississippi, and I decided to go and see what I could find. Uh, I didn't find, I didn't buy that much stuff, because, you know, I just, I don't know, I, I, a lot of the stuff that I looked for was pretty picked over because I wasn't the first one there. You know, there was probably, I don't know, there was a ton of people there. I got there, I had to wait in line for like 15 or 20 minutes just to go in the store. But I did pick up a couple items. Uh, I picked up these Merrill hiking shoes for $14.99. Picked up this Duck Dynasty 10 sign for, uh, not to resell, but just because it's cool. Uh, my dad's a big fan of Duck Dynasty. Uh, this Superman hat right here. I picked that up as well so those are the three items i picked up i'm also going to include a picture uh i met up with some fellow resellers uh, alicia from murray life and d who doesn't have a youtube channel but she has a uh, instagram that i will link uh down below met both of them they were really cool uh it's cool to meet other resellers obviously uh, i also met uh, alicia's husband brandon was there as well uh <laughs> he didn't want to be in the picture but he was there and i got to chat with him for a while while we stood in line it took probably we probably stood in line for 10 or 15 minutes just waiting to check out. Uh, that store was packed full of people, and it was crazy. But uh, here's the picture uh, that we took with all of our stuff that we bought. So that was the picture. Uh, really cool to meet some fellow resellers. I've met a couple people here in Louisiana, but I've never actually, you know, driven to meet up with people. Uh, I met in Baton Rouge, I've met Glenn, the Swamp Picker, Natalie, the Thrift Raider, and Lonnie from Garage Clips. Y'all probably, y'all definitely all know Lonnie. Uh, I've met all of them before at different garage sales and yard sales, uh, but this is the first time I've actually gone to a, a thrift store to meet up with people and, uh, you know, hang out for a little bit. I also turned it into a sourcing trip. You know, you got to if you go that far. It's probably, you know, two and a half, two to two and a half hour drive from me to get there. So I also picked up some other inventory while I was there. I uh, picked up this little guy. It's a T.Y. Beanie Boo Buckwheat. Uh, new, I could sell him for $25 to $30. This one's not new. Uh, he doesn't have his tags, but he will still sell for anywhere between uh, $10 and $15, and I paid two for him. I uh, picked up this plush. I believe this is from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. I could be wrong, but I think it is. And this one cost $0.99. Cents picked up this s'mores build-a-bear plush it's the girl scout s'mores paid two dollars for it and it was going for anywhere between 15 and 20 got rex from toy story whenever i originally bought this i thought it was disney brand but it's actually a kohl's care brand so i'm not sure uh i only paid 99 cents for him so i hope i'm pretty sure i can get you know ten dollars for him just because it's toy story this is my favorite one I got, Jiminy Cricket. There is no uh, tush tag, but it was only 69 cents. And I think it's Pinocchio, I believe that's what movie he was in, has a pretty good following. So hopefully he'll turn into some good profit. These Brooks Ghost S or 5 shoes. Uh, I haven't listed any of this stuff yet. It'll probably be listed by the time this video comes out. But I uh, paid $4.99 for those at America's Thrift Store and... Somewhere in Mississippi. <laughs> uh, I got this purple My Little Pony plush. Still have to research her. She has a little bit of staining on her, but that should just be surface washable, and I should be able to just get that out with a towel or something like that. Also got these Brooks shoes. They are Brooks, and they're very pretty nice condition. I paid $7.99 for those. I don't really notice any flaws per se on there. And that was all the Mississippi sourcing. I also did some sourcing in Baton Rouge when I got back. Uh, I got these little guys all for a dollar, for all four of them. And these are from the Disney movie Planes. This one's not, but those three are all from Disney movie Planes. Those sell really well. I bought a lot off Mercari with these guys, uh, all new in the packaging, and I made a lot of money on them. But I had to catch that really fast, because Mercari stuff sells fast if it's something like that. This is Dino Trucks. I believe Uncle B's been finding a lot of these lately, but this little guy will go for ten to fifteen dollars just because he's Dino Trucks and he's a—they're uh, kind of sought after. 
found these Jordan shoes, 23 MJ Jordan shoes on there. And they're size six and a half Y. And they actually sold, the comps were looking pretty good for them. Also found two DVDs for a dollar each. CSI New York sealed and this uh, Andromeda sealed. Wasn't sure on this one. Couldn't really find comps. So I'm gonna look up, you know look up some more later, but uh, I think it's I think it was worth buying. This little truck, uh, it's a uh, Transformers uh, rescue bots. You press down or no, you press up, and it transforms into a transformer, like like said. But paid seventy five cents for that. Uh, paid a dollar for three shirts each. Uh, Brooks Brothers shirt. A Donald J. Trump shirt and another Brooks Brothers shirt. So those three should all sell pretty well, I think. For a dollar, I can't, I'm not going to say no to picking up uh, shirts like that for a dollar. And now on to what sold over the weekend. In the previous video you saw, I, it was all stuff that I sold over the week. This is the weekend sales. I uh, sold these three guys for $26 on Mercari. I've had them listed for a while. Uh, they actually, This one actually did have some. Uh, problems with him, but I disclosed that in the listing. In the, in the title of the listing, I disclosed that, so I don't think I'm going to have any problems with that. Hopefully not. <laughs> I did all I could to disclose it, so I uh, sold this Disney shirt. It's a Mickey Mouse surfing shirt. Sold this for, uh, I think, $18 plus $5 shipping. This one of my older listings because it still had shipping on it. I usually do free shipping now for clothing and stuff like that. This came out of the storage unit because I will not buy this in the store because I feel weird. <laughs> I feel weird going to that section to buy to buy stuff. Uh, but it's a Nike Dry Fit sports bra, size medium. But it sold for uh, twelve dollars. This Anaheim Ducks shirt sold for thirty-five dollars, I think, on eBay. It didn't have a uh, size, but I. Did my best to measure, do the measurements, and include a size. So hopefully the buyer read what I wrote and read the measurements and didn't just go off what I put in the title. But hopefully that's the case. Uh, this little guy sold for $9 on Mercari. It's a spoiled rotten beagle lives here. I've had these signs for a while. I paid $2 for them. I'll have to take that off before I ship it, obviously. But uh, good. glad to get rid of it. It should go first class shipping. I'll just have to you know, put some extra cardboard in there to protect it and everything. This NASCAR car sold for, uh, I think, $21 or so on eBay. Or actually, it sold on Mercari. But it's a Chase Elliott car, pink Hooters car. Paid around $5 for that at Walmart. And now for some cards. Sold two sealed boxes of Panini Contenders cards. These Guys sold for $63. I paid $22 each, so $44 total in on those. Profit isn't great, but I'm getting rid of them. My other alternative is just to return them to the store because I don't have much time left to return them. Uh, I In the past, I got football, like uh, draft picks, prism draft picks, and I have only sold a couple of them, and it definitely wasn't worth it. So I think I've pretty much given up on fo getting football at this point. Uh, but these, if I can still make a profit on them, I'll sell them. I uh, got the sold these Trey Young cards for eleven ninety nine. Uh, these are from the Mosaic series, so got got rid of some cards as well. I usually like to sell these in lots because uh, these aren't going to sell individually. These aren't going to sell for much, but if you lot them together, they can uh, bring some profit. Sold some more of these Illuminati cards. These sold for twenty six dollars, and they're going international shipping. Uh, they're place cards for the Illuminati, so you got France. And uh, several other ones in there, but they sold for twenty five ninety nine. And last but not least, uh, sold some Chronicles cards. These are all John Morant cards. These sold for fifty dollars for six cards. It's the score of John Morant, two uh, Paninis of John Morant, a playbook John Morant. Threads, John Morant, and the Crusade of John Morant. So, like I said, those sold for 50 and uh, the buyer hasn't paid yet, but hopefully they'll pay soon. <laughs> but that was the what sold for the weekend and what I sourced while I was in Mississippi and when I got back. 
So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks to uh, Alicia, Brandon, and Dee. It was great meeting y'all at the uh, at the meetup. At well, it wasn't really a meetup, but at the thrift store and uh, sourcing for a little bit with y'all and uh, talking to y'all for a little bit. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Comment down below with what your favorite find or sale was. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to see more content, just let me know what you might want to see. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, just a quick update on the end of that last video you saw. Sold some more items uh, on Sunday night, uh, and I've been shipping them out today. This 49ers shirt sold for $25. This is from the lot that I got from Connie Johnson. Uh, make it, this first one I sold from that lot, but I'm sure I'll make my money back on that. I showed this in a, one of the last two videos I think I filmed. Uh, this was Epson Inc. I paid $1.99 for it. It is expired. I put that in the listing. And it still sold for $29.98. Ink is hard to find right now with the pandemic going on and everybody going back to school. So I think that's partially why it sold so fast. Sold this two sets of four of five pound weights. Each time I sell these, the set of four, I would get around $20 profit. So that's 20 bucks, 40 bucks right there between those two. And I sold two uh, 10 pound weights. Profit on those is probably 20 to $25 for the two. I uh, sold this uh, elephant, Ollie the elephant, I think. Yes, Ollie. It's a Sensi elephant thing. Paid 99 cents and sold for 16 on Mercari. Sold this uh, Kirby vacuum attachment holder thing. You put all the little attachments in there. Uh, I got a, one storage unit I think I won for like 20 or $25. Uh, and then there's this Kirby vacuum in there and this was part of it. I decided to part it out instead of trying to sell it because, I don't know, it just shipping something that big would have been hard and I don't think it would have sold. I turned it on and it didn't really, it didn't make it was working, so I decided to part it out. The last sale is these, bat, uh, I almost said basketball, soccer Chronicles cards. Got these over the weekend and uh, at two different Walmarts. I got eight at one Walmart and seven at a different Walmart. They sold for $285 on eBay. I kept getting like, I listed them on eBay and Mercari, and someone kept messaging them on Mercari, asking if I'd take 225 and they came up to like 235 250 and eventually I just said, hey, I have an offer on eBay of 275 and then I wound up, I got two offers of 275 on eBay, countered one to 285 and they accepted the counter offer, so these sold for $285. The profit is probably somewhere from $70 to $80, because I paid, uh, I think, 10 or 11 for each pack, and there's 15 packs, but that's still a good profit. I knew they would sell fast, and that's why I decided to do that. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you stayed till the end, uh, comment soccer down below. Thanks for watching.